Hello all. Um, it's Simon here. Um, it's weird, right? I'm talking. Yep. Um, today what I want to do for you is, is a tutorial. Um, I don't do many of these, but I do get a few requests for them. So what I thought I'd do is do one for our OMZ2 and getting a map running in the game that you've basically downloaded. So today I'll work off Great Grundorf, Grund, Grundorf, I think it's Grundorf, I don't know, version 2, the new one. So a lot of people have been having trouble trying to get it to work in OMZ2, so I'm just going to explain how to work it. So um, yeah, hopefully you can uh, keep up with me, and uh, but I'll go as slow as possible anyway, so let's go. So the first thing you do is just open up Google. <coughs> Sorry, and um, you just type in Great Grundorf, Grundorf version 2. I'm just going to refer to it as GG2 from now on because I can't say it. Um, so once GG2 is put in, you'll get some results and you go to the first one you see here, which is 3D Transport Studio.net. So you just click that and you come to the website for Great Grundorf 1 and Great Grundorf 2. Um, so you just click here on the left of GG2. Now it's important to reference here that um, in order to get OMZ2 to run uh, GG2 you need to download the same download from uh, version 1 of Great Grundorf, or sorry not version 1, OMZ1's version of Great Grundorf so you need to download all the essential files from the main uh, server 1 or server 2. You need to download the Dennis Enviro 400 made by Winsome. You can download the Toyota Hi Ace and the Toyota Echo Verso but I didn't download them because I just switched them in my AI list. I just put other cars in the AI list instead of the Toyota Hi Aces because I felt they I don't think they're that great of a an AI so I just put in some other cars I forget what I think it was a Mercedes or something so so what you need to do is you need to download these files if you already have them downloaded it's great just um, transfer them over to your OMZ2 uh, file um, but if not you need to download them anyway so it's quite a big download so it might take a while so there you go so download uh, the main files on server 1 or 2 so once you have them downloaded you have to bring up your steam or your omz2 directory so you go to start computer local disk c program files brackets x86 then you scroll down to steam then you go again to steam apps then after that you go to common then you'll see omz2 folder so you click in there and this is your main directory here now for uh, OMSI. So what you want to do is when you download the files from here, so when you click uh, say download main files, it'll, uh, it'll let you download there. So once they're downloaded, um, you show all your downloads and then you'll um, it'll be here so you, you have to extract it. So once you extract it, I don't know what your um, where your extraction goes to but mine goes to downloads anyway so you should come up here with Great Grundorf um that's Gothenburg sorry Great Grundorf here so you'll you'll have all the the folders here so basically what you're doing is when wherever you downloaded it to or from whether it's in your your desktop your download folder or even your PC folder I don't know what your name will be you basically just copy all these folders here, so your fonts, your maps, scenery objects, splines, your texture, your vehicles, and your ticket packs. So you copy them and you paste them to your OMSI2 directory, which again I repeat is local disk C, program files, brackets x86, Steam, Steam apps, common OMSI2. So you copy and you paste them to here. Now what I did, I just over overwritten everything so when you get the same folder it'll ask you to merge them so I merged them I don't know what your setup is so if you want to merge them 
go ahead. Maybe you might have stuff already in there that they that you don't want to overwrite. But I merge them now. I don't take responsibility for anything happening to your Omzi. So don't come back at me and say, oh, my game isn't working out because I followed your tutorial. This is just the way I did it. Everybody's system is different. I'm just giving you a way of, a little bit of help, should I say, in showing you the way of doing it for maps. So when you download all them in there, you can then go back to the the Transport Studio website here and then you go down to other files here and then it'll have OMSI 2 patch server 1 and server 2 so again you just click and it'll bring up a little preview you download that and then extract it to wherever folder it is again mine is the my downloads file so as you can see I have OMSI 2 great run off patch it's just two files it gives you a little readme in there of what you need um, so just have a double check on that you do need the main files for great ground of which I just showed you there you need the Enviro 400 and you need the Toyota High Ace and the Toyota Echo of Persa so what I just showed you previously you should already have all that in your OMSI 2 directory right now so before installing this so then when you do is you just copy your maps and your vehicles folder from this one and paste them again into the OMSI 2 directory which is program files steam steam apps common OMSI 2 again it will ask to overwrite files I think in this this time you do just so it has the updated OMSI 2 patch in it you know because it'll have an OMSI 2 um, AI list and stuff like that as far as I'm aware um, I'll just double check that now yeah because the AI list is now OMSI 2 whereas with the other one it was OMSI 1 so again um, once you do that then everything should be okay for you to run a uh, great run off 2 in OMSI 2 if you might get a few errors but if you can skip them I know on my OMSI 1 version I got a lot of errors but I kind of got around it by switching some cars off the AI list and stuff like that um, I don't think I even have the high ace in my AI list now oh I do yeah that's just my OMSI 2 one. I don't have it in my OMSI one. So once um once that's done, you can go into your Steam. Um so log into your Steam, go to your library, and then you have OMSI 2 and you can click play. <coughs> Excuse me. Just wait for it to load up. And if all goes well, it should load up okay. Like without any problems if not well then it could be something on your end it's definitely not something on my on um, on this tutorial's end because I done this fine on, uh, on my own and it was fine so there we go it's in there it has all the little details there of what to do and whatnot. then just start basically and just wait well, that's loading because it's going to load everything so it's probably going to take a while I'll just move away from the game for a moment um, people are saying that they it's a, it's pretty much the same thing with, with vehicles say you go to we'll use this, this website again or Winsome maybe Winsome website um, but anyway it's the same thing when you download a vehicle um you do the same thing you download it and uh, when you when it comes up here to your your little download box it will ask you to uh to extract it then so when you extract it and wherever it, wherever it goes i don't know where where you put it so so me again i'll see if i have a vehicle here do i uh i probably don't because I keep most of my stuff on a hard drive. No, it doesn't look like I have. Um, anyway, it will come here, the vehicle will, and you'll just, again, just copy. And then go into your vehicle's folder. And then just paste. I'll see if I, hold on, I'll see if I can do that better. So let's see, say I have to show a high ace. No, because I'm loading Great Grundorf now, hang on. Um, anyway, yeah, that's what you do. You just go in. You right click, copy, and then you go over into your vehicles, OMSI 2 vehicles folder, and paste. 
Now, if you want certain buses to work in certain maps, you need to put a HOF file, H-O-F, into the actual folder. So, when you down, when you install the Great Grundorf um, map, the HOF file, which is highlighted here, would be in the SD202 um, folder. So, if you want to use any other maps or any other buses with this map, you need to copy this into that buses folder. So, you just copy the Great Grundorf to um, HOF file into the bus you want to use, say for example the MB0530G you just paste and you can just copy it, i just done that because it's already in there the same any other bus that you drive whether it be the SU15 or the Solaris or Bino12 it's weird names you know you just copy that uh, file in there and you'll be able to select a hot file when you want the bus I mainly drive the Hamburg stat bus because it's possibly the best bus I've ever driven in the game can't wait for the three generations so again you have to have it in the the Dennis Enviro 400 as well so you just paste her in there this is still loading up because I have on the options that it loads the whole map for some reason instead of just a few tiles at the start so sorry about that yeah, so that's pretty much it. Everything you download for OMSI or OMSI 2, or mainly OMSI 2 here, goes to the OMSI 2 directory, which you're looking at right now. No matter what it is, it goes here. Whether it be a scenery object, sound, a texture, a vehicle, um, a map, you name it, it goes exactly right here. And it should go straight into your game. Now the map should have loaded up now. Yeah. So I'll just change the time there because it's a bit, uh, a bit dark. But as you can see, the map works now. And this is pretty good off too. It's a bit slow because of the corn. So I just it's uh This is the reason you need the the Enviro 400 is because of this little bit here. It's like another city that you use the other side of the road. It's quite clever in a way, you know. I enjoy it. Now, you obviously, you can't drive to bus just an AI bus, but anyway, yeah. So that's that's it there, guys. Um, if you have any questions, just leave them in the comment box. Um, it's it's no problem I'll, I'll answer them i always answer comments as you probably well know but um yeah so that's all she wrote <coughs> sorry so um i hope this tutorial was okay if it wasn't sorry um but i don't really have any good video making skills i just have to rec the video recorder basically and away i go um just another thing um everything i have for omzi is bought I bought it, I paid for it, I didn't download it, I didn't uh, get it illegally or anything because some people might think that I have everything illegally because I have so much stuff but everything that I have for OMSI, all the add-ons, OMSI 1, OMSI 2, they're all bought, I have serial numbers for them and emails for them so the people that think that I'm being illegal by telling people to go here or go there for stuff it's just I'm just helping them out by telling them to go where to get help, that's all. So um, I just want to clear that up because I think people think that I am I have these illegally downloaded and stuff like that when I don't. But um, anyway, that's that out of the way. So thanks again for folks for watching and subscribing.